Well, I'm Artifacts of Mars. And who has been warning about how these social media companies could uh, alter your posts and without your knowledge and basically change what you said into something else? That would be I. That would be Artifacts. Well, here you have it in black and white. Project Veritas is an undercover sting video. Twitter engineers to ban a way of talking through shadow banning algorithms to censor opposing political opinions. And I've told, i said before, if they can do this with Twitter and Facebook, they can do it with cell phones. You send a text, the other person sees it's something different that they don't agree with. I'm just going to go over this generally. Stephen Pierre, Twitter engineer, explains shadow banning, says it's going to ban a way of talking. I've warned about these social media companies. These are public companies, they're in the public domain. So they're really not private. Companies waste your, uh, your corner drugstore might be your independent drugstore. Former Twitter software engineer, not gonna happen on shadow banning. They just think that no one is engaging, engaging with their content when, when in reality no one is seeing it. Former Twitter content review agent Mo Nori. Explain this banning process. If this is a pro-Trump thing and I'm anti-Trump, I banned this whole account. Say at your discretion. Unbelievable. So their employees can say, hey, "Screw you! You're not going to get taught." When you ask the banning process was an unwritten rule, or he adds, "Very, a lot of unwritten rules. It was never written. It was more set." Melinda Hansen, Hansen, policy manager for Twitter Trust and Safety, explains we're trying to downrank shitty people and not show up. We're working that on right now. Does that sound familiar? YouTube trying to uh, get everybody but the pretty people off there. Shadow banning is to be used to stealthily target political views, former Twitter engineer says that's a thing. Censorship of certain political viewpoints be automated since via machine learning according to Twitter software engineer. Does that sound familiar? Who's been warning about YouTube and what it's doing being censorship? That would be I. Artifacts has been saying this. Of course, I don't get any ratings because uh, YouTube doesn't let me have the ratings. So I ask you to pass up this video on. I'm not the best of speakers, but I understand what's going on. Harne Singh, Twitter direct messaging engineer on machine learning algorithms. You have like 5,000 5, keywords to describe a redneck. The majority of it are for Republicans. Really? 5,000 words in the scrape of a redneck? How about a shotgun toting old man or something like that? San Francisco is the latest undercover project Veritas video investigation. Current and former Twitter employees are in camera explaining steps. Me, giant, is taking the sensor political content that they don't like. So you don't need to uh, break this down for you. If you're a conservative and you're expressing con conservative opinions on Twitter, all of a sudden you're a liberal. They're going to only allow liberal left-winging content by their own admission. 
that's worse than despicable. I've been warning about these social media companies for some time. Uh, they're actually violating our rights. Now, I'm going to explain to you again quickly, because I don't have all day for this. I do have to work, and I got a bunch of stuff I have to do. We got a big storm moving in. Uh, what they're doing, they're taking your post and you're changing it, and you forget all about it. And they'll put something in its place. And everybody reads it, thinks that you said it when you didn't. When you said something else. What I don't know, if you go and read it, and it looks like you, uh, looks the same as what you posted. Are you seeing it like that because the machine recognizes your um, your IP address? This is what I'm asking. This is what I don't know. Your IP address is the internet handshake that every computer and device has. It's unique. It could be that they recognize your IP address. Okay, we're going to show what he originally, he or she originally posted rather than what we've made it. So you might have to actually have an unregistered device to look at these posts to see if they've altered them. That's what you might have to do. Problem is, having them unregistered is really tough this world. Do you understand what's going on? It's not just social media companies, but what they're trying to do is they're trying to create a big web. Not to be confused by the World Wide Web, but they're trying to commit, create a big web that prevents you from expressing contrary political opinions, whether it's Google, Facebook, Twitter or what have you. And any company that goes against that, like Gab, which is a free speech alternative to Twitter, I guess, they get screwed on their ratings. Same way I'm getting screwed on YouTube. Like my uh, Mars Station videos, which are kind of saucy. With, you know, young skinny teenage girls and all that. I understand that. But we're supposed to have this free free expression thing within reason here in the United States. These companies don't believe in that. They hate freedom. Twitter, Facebook, uh, YouTube, Google. They hate freedom. They hate representative government. They believe that freedom is what they make it. And I've warned you about this. The other thing is, I've said messages that you're sending, this one's actually worse. You send your message to the cell tower, they can do the same thing to that. With that automated, automated computer stuff, the text that the person on the other side gets, be completely different from the one that you sent. I tried to explain this. Yeah, it's a brave new world, all right. You folks better wake up. We're gonna have to do something. I, I'm not sure what. We've got to ring in these social media companies. Because if you let them control everything like this, this is bad. It's as bad as having a dictatorial communist government. government. Shadow banning people, altering their posts. I... I'm the one who warned about this in one of my uh, videos that got hardly no views. Think YouTube doesn't know what they're doing? They sure do. They saw my video and they knew that people hear that they're going to understand a little bit that something isn't right. 
The flip side to this is the great AIs, and you might think that they're real. That technology is getting there too. Brave New World, alright, makes uh, 1984 look like a picnic. Except we don't have bombs falling in our heads yet. Well, they want to change that too. I'm Artifacts of Mars, thanks for watching. Wake up, people.